Now here's where we start to see how this thing fused into Christianity. Because remember, Christianity is an outgrowth of Judaism, right? Or Hebrewism, upon which Jehovah is the God. And I just showed you Jehovah was an aquatic being, okay? Known as Elil, Enlil, or at least he's depicted as an aquatic because of his association with the uh, beings that lived in the sea from Sirius uh, B. So what you have here is the Pope wearing a hat very similar to what they used to wear in the ancient world with the fish head. And we already know in Christianity, this symbol is the fish. So here you have the Pope. Okay. Page 39, more facts and more images, pictures speak a thousand words, right? You still have these popes always wearing this weird fish-like hat. Okay. And it says here, something very fishy in Western religion. It all goes back to the aquatic beings who lived in the sea. I asked a priest, well, well the high priest in the Catholic Church, they probably, have, they probably know the facts. They know the truth because they got all of this stuff secretly tucked away in the bowels under the Vatican. But my point is this. You ask a regular preacher, well, why the hat? What's the significance of this hat? How, did that, how does that connect anywhere to Jesus? Did Jesus wear a hat like that? No. Well, why are you wearing a hat like that? Because this is all based on ancient uh, 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 priesthoods that worship in Lil. And they kept a lot of the traditions. They're telling how much they know. We see it now also in different types of um, advertisements. Uh, the Little Mermaid, you have Starbucks, which symbol is a mermaid, okay, Ishtar. So it's just a lot it starts to pop out at you when you get these facts. So we're going to continue on with session uh, two in the presentation, but this is also session two or session three for the online version. And by the way, it's good to get the courses that's on in the members area for all of our members, you know. Coming out to the event is something, it's like triple the information. This is just like a, a shorthand just to give you the, the, the keys and give you the main facts, but you get many, much more details when you come to the event and you get interaction. You get to see people ask questions and get their questions answered. People asking questions you didn't even think about getting it answered. So it's just a more of a, 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 a a more holistic way that you're learning. It's more powerful. So get your tickets to the next event, very important. So today we're gonna to go more into the Nephilim Rebellion, human hybrids, the arrival of 4D Syrians, uh, human advanced development, the pole shift and redemption. Okay, so we already talked about the Nephilim. Okay, and how they came here wanting to mine for gold and, and they did mine for gold. And uh, we talked about uh, Enlil, right? We're going to talk about his brother Enki too. But Enlil lived amongst them for a long time. Uh, 600 miners arrived <clears throat> about 400,000 years ago. So they came in ships of 50, but they came at 400,000 years ago. So about a half a million years ago, a long time. So every 3,600 years, they would return to collect the gold. And... Um, you still have these storehouses of gold, but they say they got the gold. But when's the last time they say anything about the U.S. dollar being backed by gold? When's the last time they even show you any pictures of the gold that this money is supposed to be backed by? Long time ago, we got off the gold standard. They don't have the gold. It's almost like the beekeeper. The honey is like the gold. And they let the bees do their thing for a certain amount of time. Then they come back and they, and they, and they harvest, right? They harvest all of the, all the honey or in this case, they harvest the gold, right? In the last days and time, it says the Lord is going to come and, and harvest human beings. Okay. And it's like, they're going to grind you into his sacred bread and all of this, giving you clues to the mentality of what we're dealing with people. Okay. Anyway. The mining of this gold lasted for 150,000 years, mostly in South Africa. These are things you can research yourself. 
Don't believe me? Check it out. They have these ancient gold mines and a lot of mysteries in South Africa, which are the remnants of these ancient uh, uh, miners that were there mining for gold. These miners were people from the Bureau that were in debt. They were in debt. People say karmic debt is why you get incarnated to a lower level, right? It could also be credit debt. It could be any type of debt, right? Will put you in bondage and slavery. So people that were prisoners, people that were poor, all right? The same way when they started this country, who did they bring from Europe? Did they bring the upper class? No, they emptied out those dungeons, didn't they? They let all the, the winos, the criminals, the people that couldn't pay their bills, people that were broken, deadbeat, those are the ones they shipped off to America. Well, they did the same thing with this planet, right? They shipped those people, the undesirables, quote unquote, to work the mines on key. Sounds crazy, but it's the, it's, the, it's the truth. It's a fact. The work